What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a Costco haul, of course, Miles is here with me. It is 8.30 at night and me and my husband just came back. So I'm actually gonna start off over here. Of course, you guys know, and so many people in the comments always say that this is so good. If you guys have not tried the Chicken Street Tacos, you guys need to um, average about $15, $16. Um, and this is very deceiving it will make a lot more than what you think. Definitely go ahead and try that out. Next up, we got some Kirkland vodka. I'm actually gonna have the prices popping up right here on the screen. Um, so we grabbed a bottle of that. This is a new purchase, the Chicken Melts. Um, I figure that this will be good for just kind of lunches to grab along with these beef taquitos. Um, and also just like good for last minute dinners, you know, do some shredded lettuce and cheese, sour cream, salsa, avocado dip, um, guacamole, and you are good. So I got that. I am having a hard time finding anything to disinfect with right now. Arizona numbers are just going up and it's kind of just getting out of hand again with our numbers on covid um so this kills 99.9 percent .9 two big bottles pine sol i figure i can dilute it a little bit and put inside a spray bottle and clean with it if i need to if i cannot find lysol or anything like that um, just to clean in general like I literally am out of cleaning products so we needed uh, some more sponges I do take my sponges this is a 21 pack I do take my sponges and cut them in half I've done that for years and years and years um, so pretty much I'm gonna end up with a 42 sponges out of this pack that is good this is actually a new purchase as well there are like six individual pouches and rice cauliflower so my husband likes this i will go ahead and put cilantro in there put some lime um or i'll do like kind of like a mock mexican rice with this um so that is a new purchase i will let you guys know what we think of it we also grabbed this moscato you guys know if you guys been watching me for a while i love my moscato moscato and um i haven't tried this one so this is the first time i've ever seen moscato actually well not that we've looked for it at costco but I'm gonna give that a whirl. We also got some Kirkland olive oil. I needed more oil um, for cooking and stuff, so obviously. Um, so we went ahead and grabbed that. Along with, we didn't realize that my husband's uh, toothpaste that he prefers, he likes, Sensodyne, um, is over at Costco. So we grabbed a pack of that and he likes the extra whitening. He's extremely picky when it comes to his toothpaste. This is another purchase and I was actually so excited to see this there. I actually saw this on Instagram on one like a Costco person that I follow. They do just like new Costco kind of finds and stuff like that. Um, and it just looks so good. Sliced roasted turkey breast with citrus herbs. I don't know, but it sounds delicious. Um, homemade mashed potatoes on the side with like a side salad um or some corn some peas i don't know but this just looks so delicious i was actually really excited to go ahead and see that my costco had that in if you guys have tried this let me know down in the comments if you guys liked it um you guys remember my last costco <laughs> video i had this big old honking thing of meat um and we're almost done with it so we grabbed another one I am filming this at the end of June, so you guys will be seeing this in July. But we are stocking up just because, like I said, our numbers are going up and up and up over here. Um, so we grabbed another one of these, and then we got muffins. So these big muffins, it's two packs for $7.99. And what I like to do is take two out 
of each flavor. We got blueberry, and then this one I hadn't seen before. This is vanilla chocolate chunk. Um, so what I like to do is take two and two, put them in a freezer bag, pop them in the freezer, and so we're not wasting all of them. Then when I pull them out, we usually cut them in half and the kids will eat half at a time. So that's what I suggest. They hold up really good inside the freezer. Definitely go ahead and um, do that if you guys end up getting them and you feel like you can't eat them in time. Tyson boneless skinless chicken breast, 10 pounds. This is a staple inside our family. Um, $17.99, I believe. Like I said, I'm gonna have the prices popping up right here on the screen. Um, we still have our other two bags, but like I said, I'm really trying not to go out as much as possible. So we're trying to stock up for at least a month or two's worth. Okay, this was a first time purchase, the last go around, and we love I cannot even explain enough how good this is because it has like that natural wood smoky and they're fully cooked bacon they are delicious so we ended up buying two packs these are good all the way through to November I believe um, so I know we're gonna go through these two before they even expire if they held up in the freezer let me know if you guys ever put these in the freezer if they come out good I would love to know that. Um, but we love these fully cooked bacon. Um, so we ended up grabbing two packs of that. We have underneath here, cream cheese, a three pound brick of cream cheese. I never thought I'd be buying one of these big <laughs> and things, but um, we've been going through cream cheese like crazy, whether it's on bagels, whether I actually put this in my guacamole dip. Um, that's how we make it from like my mom's side of the family. And it ends up being like really creamy and just kind of like a rich guacamole dip. The kids actually, Nevea, actually really likes to eat it that way. And that's how we we're getting her to eat avocados. Um, and then homemade cheesecakes. So it's kind of, and then I also like to put this just on Ritz crackers. So I'm finding that we're going through this like crazy. So we ended up buying this. Um, never thought I would ever need to buy that big old honking thing of cream cheese, but got a big thing of Mexican cheese. I swear Costco has the best deal only because they are so much larger, like way thicker than what you get over at the grocery store. Um, so we actually use Mexican cheese quite a bit, whether it's on tacos, quesadillas, enchiladas, um, you name it, we go ahead and use it. So we got that. Um, we needed more protein shakes. My husband drinks these just plain. He'll put them in his coffee because they're low carb, but yet they have some flavor. Usually we buy the caramel, not the caramel, the vanilla, but this time we went ahead and got the caramel. How do you guys say it? Caramel? Caramel. Let me know. Um, but yeah, so this is our first time trying this flavor, but he needed more of those. We also got these Downy Unstoppables. They were actually on sale. I really, really do like these. I just have a hard time spending the money on them, but when they're on sale, I will go ahead and pick it up. Um, and the scent is just really good. What's the scent? Fresh. We needed another thing of ketchup. So we got this Hunt's 100% natural and rich ketchup. So I think it was under $3 for this big bottle, which is great. Moving on over, we got some French rolls. Um, I thought that this would just be a good kind of change up to do sandwiches during the week for lunches, um, along with the smoked pulled barbecue by Kirkland. Uh, we have bought this before, it is really good. Me and my son actually love barbecue meat. Um, so I figure that this will go good inside the rolls as well and just switch up lunches around here um, So we're not always having the same thing. So we got that now this Cheese wrap we got last time um, It's basically a big old thing of Parmesan and it is low carb one carb my husband loved these so we have actually used them mostly as a wrap whether we put like deli meats in it 
or sometimes I'll do like uh, eggs in the morning with some turkey and cook it up that way. And then we put it in here and they hold up really well. Um, they'll kind of get like a little bit see-through, transparent kind of looking if it's something warm inside of it. But for the most part, they hold up really, really, really good. We did try and crisp them up the other day and use it as like kind of a taco shell and he did not really prefer it that way um so i think he just likes them as wraps and it's a great alternative because it is a low carb um so we actually got two of them so that's how much he did like them we ended up getting two we've been making a lot of pizzas and stuff lately so we got the big old thing of kirkland mozzarella cheese um yeah so we'll go ahead and definitely go through both of those bags we ended up picking up two bags. We got this last time of the Kirkland shrimp, and these are the 3140. Um, we like to go ahead and do shrimp tacos, and so one bag pretty much fed our entire family of four. So that kind of gives you an idea um, how much one bag would go ahead and feed me, my husband, and D and Nevaeh. So we got two bags, so at least we have the two meals with that. Um, almonds, we've been going through almonds pretty quick. So we got some more Kirkland dry roasted almonds uh, along with a bag of avocados. I just got some avocados at the grocery store and they are all hard. That's what happens when you do grocery store pickup. So these ones are actually soft and ready to go. So I ended up grabbing those. We got some Honey Nut Cheerios. This is, if you guys have been following me for a while, this is a staple in the house. The kids love this. Um, so I ended up just getting a box over there at Costco along with red solo cups my husband always drinks out of the red they're not solo sorry these are kirkland um cups and then when you know yes <laughs> um so we were actually running low so we ended up grabbing some more this will last us for months on end um we needed some more paper plates along with kirkland toilet paper so we <laughs> miles we ended up grabbing some more um this is actually running pretty low at our costco if you guys are in a state where numbers are starting to go up again i would grab some last two things over here <laughs> is the big old thing of long grain rice how this is 25 pounds of rice um i'm telling you guys i really am trying not to go out because our numbers we are one of the extremely high states right now um and i'm just would rather be safe than sorry and also what happens if our freezer goes down and all of our meats and everything go out at least we have um this in case of an emergency we have rice and then we got a big old thing of beans and I'm sure this is the same way. Yeah, 25 pounds. So um, I will just be rotating this inside the glass thing, the glass like jars that I have. And I probably am gonna have to go ahead and look for a container that can go ahead and hold all this once I do open it. Um, so it can go ahead and stay fresh. But that is it. That is the full haul. Holy cow. Um, like I said, I will have the prices coming up right here. A big haul, but we got a lot of stuff um, that we were needing on stock, standby, and everything. But I need to go ahead and get the stuff in the fridge and in the freezer. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to go ahead and click down below, subscribe. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.